Welcome to the September energy update. This month, the way the energy is presenting to me is all about major changes. We've been going through a lot of changes, but it feels like September, it's a time where, and I'm saying major changes, because it's kind of like disconnecting from the mass consciousness or the collective group thinking or the way you may have maybe a while ago perceived how things ought to be but now it's like finding that courage to step into your own truth to um do things your way let's see what that's all about <music> Hi, I'm Linda. Welcome to my channel. I'm an energy healer and an awakening coach. And we're going to talk about the energies I feel that are coming in for September. And it really is all about just owning your own truth and doing what feels right to you, which may be totally contrary to the so-called group think or the way um, maybe others perceive how things ought to be, right? The woulda, shoulda, couldas. We're just like throwing them out the window. Okay, that's an old story. So, but before I get into the card, I picked three cards and uh, it's very interesting. And the funny thing is I just finished um, a podcast on LOA Today podcast videos. And a lot of the things that came up, my because I actually pulled the cards before that, um, but I didn't have time to shoot the video. So I'm doing it now. But a lot of the stuff that was spoken about on that podcast for part of what the cards are telling us, which is so cool. I had um, a friend of mine, psychic medium Cheryl Murphy, on with us. And so, you know, we were just talking and a lot of these same things came up. So it was like really confirmation that that there's something to these cards that presented themselves today. I chose three cards from the Energy Oracle deck and one from the Native Spirit deck. Um, but I just want to invite you to um, take advantage of the free offers I have down below. I've got a Raising Your Vibration, High Vibe Living um, freebie, and also a super cool meditation for reprogramming your subconscious mind. Okay, so the cards. Now, I picked three cards. All of them were in the reverse position. Kind of interesting, right? And the first card is Envy in reverse. The second card... Make sure I have them in the right order. Oh, no. The second card was victory in reverse. Victory, right? And the third card, deceit <laughs> in the reverse, which is very good. And then I'll let you know now, the um, the card, I like to pick one card just for like, you know, a, a wrap up or an overview of everything that we just spoke about and offerings. Offerings is what came up. So, as always, the cards totally flow with each other. And, um, you know, this Envy card in the reverse, I'm going to read the description from the book. But I made a few notes about, about it, um, what I was picking up on as I held the card. And really, the first thing that was coming up is like, who are you comparing yourself to? Right? And that's that thing with, you know, like a lot of times people their heart may be telling them to do something different, like to move into a whole different direction, pick up and move to another state. Like, you know, big changes, because there's big changes going on right now. But then you could get stuck in your head and start comparing yourself to how other people may have done things, uh, what other people will think, um, what your fam family might think of what you're doing. You know, like you start going... Out, a little bit outside of yourself, right? So let me see. I wrote also, what if you Yeah. But what if you can just sit in that, in that space of gratitude and really be accepting and allowing of, of your own reality, of what feels right to you and following that? Because if it feels right, it's coming from your higher self and soul. That energy is leading the way. And it's almost like, 
it's almost like if you would give yourself permission to just take the brakes off or just let it be, that everything would just flow. But then you get a little bit stuck in your head. You got that subconscious programming going on. You got this group think, these other voices outside of you with and you're interpreting their opinions. Like it's not even really happening, but it's all in your head. And that kind of may block you from actually really moving to where your soul wants to take you. And because of that battle, it also contributes to these highs and lows of this spiritual awakening, because it's almost like popping in and out of the 3D and the 5D. You know, it's like, this one energy is pulling you to this easy way of doing things. And even though it might be a drastic shift, you don't, the ego mind is not allowing you to see how everything will just flow with ease if you just let yourself go. But so let me read what the card says here. So in the reverse position, it says this card reverse heralds a great time of joy and appreciation. Your choice to shift your focus from Future longing to present gratitude creates a significant difference in your energy field and moves out of the dramatic and moves out in a dramatic and radiant way to attract more to you, right? So it's talking about really just allowing, being in that space of gratitude, that higher vibration and allowing these things to, to unfold, you know? Um, it says, you know that you can keep your eye on future goals without losing sight of your present gifts. So continue to release any old feelings of envy or lack whenever those thoughts or emotions come up. So that's the thing with too, where comparison comes up. You know, you might, you start getting stuck in that, well, this person didn't do it this way, or, or look how easy it's been for them, or uh, you know, who knows what, you know, just comparing the way in which others have done things and not honoring and trusting yourself to know what is right for you or giving yourself permission to just follow it regardless of what people may think. You know what I mean? Um, okay. So it says, you're well on your way to a completely gratifying life and your genuine acknowledgement of the value within and around you will only keep drawing more value to you. So there's that like attracting like, right? So when you acknowledge and value all that you have, your own inner knowing, your own guidance, um, yourself, even though someone might say, well, it's foolish for you to leave that well-paying job to go follow your dreams and start this business. You know what I mean? Whatever it might be, it's really really allowing yourself to go for it, um, staying in that place of gratitude, even for, even, even for that struggle of making that switch, because there's a lesson to be learned in everything, right? So to have gratitude for the difficulty you might experience along the way is also something to look at, because I know there are a lot of people who want to do something, but they just won't allow themselves to really out of fear of, I'm going to say the group think, <laughs> the collective mind, because it doesn't fit the mold, you know. Uh, this is a time of really breaking the mold, being who you are, following your heart, and allowing spirit to, to truly lead the way, even if it seems scary along the way to doing that. Yeah. All right. So the next card is about victory but in the reverse. Um, so what I was writing was, okay, release a specific outcome. Spirit's directing you to be your own truth, peaceful surrender to what, when you, yeah, being in that place of peaceful surrender and just allowing yourself to open up to the possibilities. So it really goes along with everything I was just saying, um, but let's read how the card stated that. So victory in the reverse it says the victory card reverse signals a delay or reversal in a hoped for outcome, whether it's in a person, it's a personal change or external achievement. Okay. So success may have been eluding you for some time, but do not despair. Now I feel that what I'm picking up as part of that 
success eluding you is because you've been giving into that ego-based mind and thought patterns and looking outside of yourself for what's right for you rather than listening to inside. That's the way I'm getting it, and that's why I'm picking up the, on this energy. But it continues to say, you may need to restructure things, reevaluate, or release one specific outcome and set your sights on another one. See, that's really when the magic and the possibilities come, is when you kind of, the way I look at it, is like giving it up to spirit and saying, all right, look, I, I'm kind of stuck. Show me the way. And even when... And then, it, then spirit shows you the way, right? And in your mind, you're like, no, that can't be the way. Because then you start looking at this other stuff that is really got nothing to do with you. It's everybody else's story. <laughs> I hope you're following along with this because I feel like I know this beyond the words that I'm saying. And I hopefully I can find a way to, to um, get that through. Okay. So it says you may need to restructure things, reevaluate or release one specific out outcome and set your sights for another. Whatever's going on externally, remember that equanimity of peaceful surrender can often be your biggest victory of all. And that's that thing. You know, I'm, I'm the kind of there right now. I've got this big, some big changes going on. And it's so hard to just surrender because, yeah, that ego mind comes in and says, yeah, but what if, what if, what if, what if, what if, right? But let's what if it the other way. Well, what if everything works out great? Well, what if, I mean, it's like, how many times are you going to bump your head against the wall the old way and, and then finally decide like, I'm just going to let go and let it be and let it just fall wherever the pieces fall. It's going to be perfect. And be, and in the meantime, what makes it easier to do that is really to be in that space of gratitude and keeping yourself in that higher vibration, even when you could be scared shitless. <laughs> I have to say it because that's how it is. I know some people going through this like big stuff and uh, it's almost like you're just afraid to let go. Another thing too is, and I'm hearing it right now, being addicted to the drama, right? That could be part of it too. It could be like an addiction to the misery. We don't think we want, you know, like, why would I want to be addicted? I'm, I'm not addicted to that, but you know, maybe you are. So you look back and you're like, how many times does this same thing keep re repeating? Okay. So that old way is not working, you know, being worried and trying to figure it all out and plan everything the way the gurus or somebody, some expert might be telling me to do it. Um, when inside here, there's usually a simple answer and it has a lot to do with letting go and surrendering to what will be and allow spirit to just bring things to you on your path without looking at it didn't come yet, it didn't come yet, it didn't come yet. So yeah, it's, it's that roller coaster of highs and lows. It's the same thing with the mind. It's going from soul. It's like 3D, 5D. It's like ego soul, you know, back and forth. This is what we're going through. Okay, so did I do... Did I read the deceit card? No, I didn't. Okay, I'm going to do that now. So the de deceit card in reverse, right? So let me see what I wrote down here for my own notes. Uh, oh, yep. So it could be the deceit of, of the past. Like maybe all of that crap that was going on for you wasn't really true. Of course not. That could be the deception, right? Thinking and allowing yourself to get stuck into this other way of thinking that, that you've been living out and living out and it's not getting you anywhere. That's the deception. This is why stepping into this new space and surrendering and opening up to the possibilities, I mean, even those words feel so much better, yet it is a little scary to do, I have to say. Okay, so so I was writing, okay, this you passed this over. So yeah, self-deceit, it feels like more that same thing, you know, um, not owning your own power. Because really, if we set, if we're truly in our power, then we're not worried about what's going to happen. We just follow what feels good because we know in our power that when we're in our power, and we have when our when our in our power, we have that soul connection really strong. We feel our truth, right? So there's no question. You just go with it, and everything's great. <laughs> It's that ego mind that wants to keep popping in. So that's that deceitful start part, right? So it's like, yeah. So we create, I was writing about forgetting that you are, you create your own 
reality, that you are a creator, that that's why we're here, to create, to evolve, to grow, to experience. Um, yeah, so for me, the deception is like not going along with the lie, that group think of how things have to be, because it's not you. And what I wrote ended with that, that is, it's not you. Those thoughts that may have you think that you're not good enough, that you can't do this, that this is too scary, that this is stupid, nobody does it like this. Why would I do it like this? Because, you know, like, because you're just giving your power away to out things outside of yourself. So when you honor what you feel in your heart and you just follow that, you cannot go wrong. Things will open up for you. So these big shifts, these big changes, we're all going through it somewhere in some aspect of our life. There's something that that is really changing. Nothing ever, nothing ever stays the same anyway, right? But this is a time where these things are happening on a bigger scale, um, which is why it feels so, so hard or so heavy, um, because it's not the little stuff. We're making big changes. All right. So let's see. All right. So to me. That's just that's just the way it's all coming together. Um, we need to step into our own power, trust that we know what's best, allow ourselves to make these big changes because on the other side, we can't see it yet, but that's where the peace is. Your soul is leading you always to peace, love, and joy. That's our nature, peace, love, and joy. That's who we are. So... We've kind of been pulled away from that, from all these, this is how you do it, teachings or beliefs that we've pulled into ourselves. And uh, now we're letting that go. <laughs> Just let it go. It's not easy, but we're letting it go. So offerings. This is the card I asked for, something to wrap this reading up with. What would it be? And this offerings came in. And offerings is all about, yeah, I wrote down gratitude, holding a high vibe. Uh, allowing room when you hold that high vibe you open up space room in your energy field to feel and sense your higher self telling you where to go it's like you know they're, they're leading the way it's are we going to see it or not so when we're stuck in our head we can't see when we're in our heart we can see we can feel we can sense we all will find the right way the path we'll find it we'll be on it so let's just read this card um, so it says, the universe is grateful for you. Ah, you are a gift to this world. Feel gratitude for everything in your life, even the things that don't seem perfect. Yeah. Appreciation for everything flows through your, flows through you in great bounty. Cherish the preciousness of life and everyone and everything around you. And then you will be cherished. Right. See? What you send out will come back. So really, it's all about holding that high vibe. I, I, would, I really highly recommend you get my high vibe, uh, seven tips for living in a high vibration. It's down below. Okay, so it says your native spirit wants you to know every native culture throughout history has made offerings. Oh, this is, this is fun. Let's do this, okay? Um, on a daily basis. Offerings were made to the sun, to the earth, to the plants, to the animals, and to everything in creation. The offerings varied culture to culture, but they were always made with the feeling of extreme appreciation for the bounty of life. Man, let's be grateful for that. I can breathe. I'm here. I have this chance to experience. Okay, so gratitude was the secret to a joy-filled life. True thankfulness can work like modern-day alchemy in your life, yielding happiness and peace beyond imagination. And it's simple. Find what's good and wonderful in every moment, no matter what's happening around you. There's always something to be grateful for. Whatever you appreciate in your life will grow, so discover what you're thankful for, even the people and situations that you found challenging and watch the miracles unfold. That could be tough sometimes, right? Having gratitude for this tough situation or this person who did whatever to me, you know? Um, but that's the way through. 
that gratitude, being in that high vibe, forgiveness, letting things go, because all of that just pulls you down. So the journey as a suggestion is to make an offering to whatever nurtures your soul. If you're nurtured by a particular place in nature, for example, you might consider leaving some fruit at the base of a tree for the animals in that area to give thanks for the beauty that is there. So you can find many ways to um, give an offering of gratitude. And um, I think, I think uh, I'm going to take that challenge on for myself to do that every day in some way for this whole next month and see how things unfold. So I invite you to do the same. I hope that this resonated with you. I mean, we are going through big changes and you know what? Let's just let go of the oars and let ourselves just flow freely in the direction that our soul came here to experience. And, um, you know, even having gratitude for those tough times, really allowing ourselves to feel the difficulty but not hate it and pull away from it rather love it and go into it because then it just passes so much easier and I really love making these videos because as I speak these words I'm taking them in myself because they're not just coming from me they're coming through me right I, I channel so that information I myself need to hear too because although I know all of this doesn't mean I practice it every single day <laughs> So that's why I want to do this um, offering thing every day. I'll, 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 uh, I'll, I'll update you on that as I make some videos during this next month and let you know how that's going. And I would love to hear comments from you below if you're doing that too or if you're willing to do that. Um, to give some sort of an offering every day in some way. You know, even... Yeah, I kind of like this thing of putting the fruit out by the trees, you know, or just uh, just even going out in nature, looking up the sky and saying, thank you. Thank you, trees, for being there in my backyard. I love you. You're beautiful, right? Anything like that. So that's all. We'll leave it at that for today. I would love you to, of course, comment, subscribe, like, share, and hit that bell so you receive notices when new videos come out. I'll see you on the next video. Bye.